be able to show you since I am not on my computer, but I am going to give you the instructions on how to download DS games to use on your computer. The first thing you need to download, and all you have to do is go to the internet and download it. Go to download Flash Game. You should find it there, and once it says to download it, push download and save it first. After you wait for probably 10 to 15 minutes, so I suggest you get a book or something, you go run. So, once that's there, you can install Flash Game. Just push next, next, like agree with the thing. You got that. Okay, you will need another program. Well, you'll need two more programs. Okay, after you download Flash Kit, go to no, um, cash, GBA, or no money symbol, GBA. You go there, and you should go to Romulator or something. ROM site, forget what it is. You go on to that, like it'd probably be the second, it'd be either the third or the fourth one there. Go on it, just go download. It should, your flash kit will show with a new file, push run, and you should be able to download the no money GBA. And you know, when I say money, it means the money simple, not the word money. So. So you get that, and after you download the no cash GBA, the last thing you have to download is Win R and R. R A R. Win R. It'll take a while, but once you download that, it it's able to extract files. So that's important. The last thing you need to do is go to all NDS ROMs, where it says that, and it'll show all the game ROMs. So, like Pokemon Diamond, Final Fantasy, any DS game you want. What, this is where the Win, RAR, and Flash get really come in handy. You add it to the thing, and add the ROM to Flash get, it'll download it for you. Now, you left click your ROM and go to Add to Archive. Once you do that, your WinRAR will turn it into a file. After that, you go to that file. It'll look like a cube with different colors. You go open with, and then WinRAR. Once you open it, you open no cache GBA, and then it'll say it'll say add cartridge. Well, don't worry, you don't need an actual DS cartridge for this. You just go to the file that you just opened with WinRAR and click that. It'll take a few minutes, but then you'll see the game come up. But if it's something like Pokemon, or if it's having trouble loading, or if it says the thing has been lost or something, all you have to do is go to the options and go to a supporting thing. I forget what it says, but you have to go to 512 or something. Once you get to that, it will should support the system, and it'll go on. Well, it wasn't the most detailed one, but I hope this helps.